Just give him praise. Go around, go around, bless someone, bless someone. Bless someone, tell him, give him praise, give him praise, give him praise, give him praise. Give him praise, give him praise, give him praise. Give him praise, give him praise, give him praise, give him praise. 
Give me a break. Give me a break. Give me a break. Come on. Come on. Are there young people tonight? Give me a break. Give me a break.
room. He's in the room. He's here. Kadosh, Kadosh. Kadosh, Kadosh. Oh! 
Lord. Go, go, go. Is a holy South Africa. Let's go. Hey, go, go, go. Don't be shot dead. Don't be shot dead. Don't be shot dead. 
He's in the room. 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 Breaking change. Breaking change. Changing destinies. Changing destinies. My God. God of the room. God of our Father. He's in the room. Whatever you need. He's in the room. Whatever you need. He's in the room. Just praise him and receive it. And receive it. Hey. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Amen. He's in the room. We can't do anything from here. He's in the room. Smoke filled the temple. We can't do anything from here. He's in the room. He's in the room. All you can do is worship him. All you can do is worship him. All you can do is recognize his presence. 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 All you can do is acknowledge him. Acknowledge him. Acknowledge him. The king is in the room. The king is in the room. The king is in the room. Every day shall bow. 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 Hey! Invite our first preacher. Shabbat salvation. You are worthy to be. Come on, JTR. Every place. We give you all, church. We give you church. Yeah, yeah. Come on. Come on. The glory. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. We worship yes. We, we worship Yeah. Our word. Our word. To be praised. Everything within you. Everything within you. Oh, we give you all. Give you all. Oh, the glory, the come on, glory. We worship, hey. we worship. JT, I will rise and worship God. JT, I will rise and worship God. JT, I will rise and worship God. Oh, we give you love. Every voice, every hand, we give you all. Come on. Africa, Africa, we give you all.
You alone, you are God. You alone, you are King. You alone, you are the Messiah. Therefore, we bow down and we worship you, King of Kings. Therefore, we bow down and we declare your holiness. Therefore, we bow down and declare the God of thunder is in the womb. The God who shakes things is in the womb. The God who moves mountains is in the womb. We welcome you, God of thunder, in this place. In this place. In this place. You are welcome. You are welcome. Tonight, graves are going to be opened because the God of thunder is in the room. Mountains are going to be leveled because the God of thunder is in the room. Your valleys will be made lower because he is in the room. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Lord, in this time of your word, we take the posture of Martha. Lord, we choose to sit at the feet of Rabboni that we may receive every word that you have for us in this place. Father, we pray that may your words fall in fertile ground and we declare growth in every heart. In the name of Jesus, we pray. And the church says, Amen. 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 Greetings, Pastor, in the name of Jesus. Thank you for the opportunity to be able to stand here. We do not take it for granted. This is holy ground. Amen. Amen. I'm hearing a song in my spirit. The thunder, the thunder, the thunder. The thunder, the thunder, yeah. The thunder, 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 the Today, God is raising sons of thunder. When we speak about thunder, thunder is a sound. Hallelujah and hallelujah. Thunder is not silent. Hallelujah and hallelujah. I don't know whose son are you. Hallelujah and hallelujah. But the God of my father 
He is a God of thunder. He is loud. He is loud. He is loud. And tonight, God is requiring a faith that is loud. God is requiring the people that believe, that are loud. I don't know what has been silencing you, but today there is a sound that is going to come forth from you. Hallelujah. Amen. Thunder is not silent. Oh, yes. Thunder is a sound. Oh, yes. Thunder is a sound. Oh, yes. And God is going to release a sound. Oh, yes. God is going to release a sound. When God releases a sound, oh, yes. Shepherd Sanele, she oh, yes. made you aware that the Bible says that when the dead, they shall hear a sound, a sound, a oh, yes. sound, they will come alive. They will come alive. And our theme tonight is change all things by the God of thunder in word and in prayer. We are reading our theme scripture and you are going to sit down. First Samuel 7, 8 to 10. Can we read together? One, two, one, two. So the children of Israel said to Samuel, do not cease to cry out to the Lord our God for us that he may save us from this night. And Samuel took a suckling lamb and offered it as a whole burnt offering to the Lord. Then Samuel cried out to the Lord for Israel, and the Lord answered him. Ten. Now as Samuel was offering up the burnt offering, the Philistines drew near to the battle against Israel. But the Lord thundered with a loud thunder upon the Philistines that day. And so confused them that they were overcome before Israel. You can take your seats in the name of Jesus. God reveals himself in a mysterious ways. Hallelujah. Before Moses, God revealed himself as a God of fire. Hallelujah. God can reveal himself as a shepherd. Hallelujah. God can reveal himself as Yeshua. But there is a form that God wants to take tonight. He does not want to just appear anyhow. But God wants to appear tonight as a God of thunder. As a God of thunder. Hallelujah. And for him to appear. Hallelujah. He will not appear anyhow. When we speak about thunder, we speak about a sound. Hallelujah. And where does this sound come from? It comes from above. You begin to understand that behind the sound that comes from above, there is a God who is sitting above on the heavenly places. Hallelujah and hallelujah. But for this God to come and change things, he will not come just anyhow. He will not come just to anyone. If you want the God of thunder to appear and change things in your life, if we want the God of thunder to appear and change things in South Africa, if we want the God of thunder to come and appear in our families, there are things that we must follow. The God of thunder will not just come anyhow. We need to prepare for him. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You prepare for the God of thunder to come. And these are the three ways that I'm going to give you. That which you can use to prepare for the coming of the God of thunder. The first one is prayer. I love our theme scripture. Hallelujah. They were facing warfare. They were in distress. But in their distress, oh my God. They did not choose to complain. They did not choose to look to the left. They did not choose to look backwards. They did not choose to look in front or everywhere. But the Bible says, Samuel cried. Samuel cried. He cried to the Lord. Hallelujah. Samuel cried. He made a prayer. It was the prayer of Samuel. Samuel. That attracted.
expected the God of thunder to leave heaven. Hallelujah. We need prayers that are going to attract the God of thunder. There are prayers that do not attract the God of thunder. And there are prayers that attract him. The prayers of complaints, they do not attract the God of thunder. But we need the prayers of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. They said, even though we are in the fire, oh my God, we will not bow down to any other. And the God of thunder appeared. The Bible says, the fourth man came through. Do not complain. Do not complain. If you want to attract this God, do not complain. Some of you are complaining in your hearts. Hallelujah. God does not want to raise intercessors that are complaining in their hearts. But God is looking for intercessors uh, who are going to be warriors. Uh, oh my God. Uh, Moses uh, was an intercessor. He was a warrior. The Bible says, as long as his hands were lifted up, as long as Moses was praying, there was a victory. There was victory. There was victory. I don't know where you are stuck in your life, uh, but today, uh, may God make you uh, a Moses. Uh, begin to lift up your hands in your families and pray. Amen. If you want to attract him, do what? Pray. Do not complain. Hallelujah. Do not complain. It is in Exodus 17, 11 to 13. God is going to give you victory. Amen, amen. And I love the Bible. It says, and so it was when Moses held up his hand that Israel prevailed. Your prayer is not for you. Hallelujah. Moses was lifting up his hands for an entire nation. Hallelujah and hallelujah. Do not say I am alone. If today you can lift up your hands and begin to pray, God can save your entire family. If today you can decide to lift up your hand, we are going to see salvation in South Africa. Tell your neighbor, say, stop complaining. Stop complaining. Amen. Stop complaining. And number two, this God is attracted by those who sit at the feet of Rabboni. Hallelujah. For us to see change, we need to sit at the feet of Rabboni. We are reading Luke 10, 41 to 42. Some of you are struggling to sit because there are many things that are occup occupying your lives. Amen? Some of you are struggling to sit because your hearts are troubled. If you are troubled in your inner man, you are not going to sit at the feet of Rabboni. We bless God that you are here. But it is not enough for you to be here. Hallelujah. Jesus was in the room. But Martha was busy. Jesus was in the room. He was ready to give them the best of the best. But Martha was occupied. Be seated. Hallelujah. Even tonight as we are sharing the word of God with you. Some of you, your minds are busy. Some of you, your hearts are busy. Be seated. May your heart be seated. May your mind be seated. May your soul be seated. For you receive the best in a posture that is seated. Amen. And Jesus answered and said to her, Martha, Martha, you are worried and troubled about many things. But one thing is needed. This is what is necessary. Not every form of service is right. Sometimes the service can look right, but it is not a necessity in that particular time. Martha wanted to serve Jesus, 
But Jesus was not interested in being served. Jesus was interested in Martha listening to him. Tonight, do not be quick to run. Listen. Listen. May your heart listen. In the name of Jesus. If you were worried, you were unable to sit in the word of God anymore. Some of you don't even have time for the word of God anymore. There is restoration tonight. There is restoration tonight. God is going to give you a thirst. God is going to give you a hunger. And God is going to give you a new desire. A new desire. Hallelujah. And tonight, may you receive the posture of Martha. Hallelujah. Receive this wonderful posture of Martha. Hallelujah. And when Jesus teaches you, there is identity that is going to release. Amen, amen. And there are storms that Jesus is going to silence. There are foundations that is going to shake. There are false identities that is going to shake. And we also see this with the Samaritan woman. She was a woman called by God. But with many worries. She was with Jesus. And she began to say, you are a Jew. You are a this. She was not connecting. But when her heart set, when she started to listen to the Rabboni, she became, she became a son of thunder. She ran into the city. She gathered an, an entire city. So behind your listening, it is your becoming. Amen. Listen and become. Listen and become. And I'm going to close shortly. You can give God praise. Thank you, Jesus. And I want to close with this. Jesus is also attracted to those who speak about him. Hallelujah. Thunder is loud. Hallelujah. The God of thunder is loud. Today, God wants to resurrect silent faith. Some of you, you are, the, you are the sons of thunder, but you are quiet. No, 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 no. Pastor Kiluba informed us that the God of thunder gives birth to sons of thunder. The God of this house is loud. Do not neglect the preaching of the gospel. Hallelujah and hallelujah. After you hear, you need to open your mouth and speak. Maybe you are saying, I am shy. I am a Moses. God even used a shy Moses. Amen. God used a shy Moses. Hallelujah. When the spirit of the Lord comes upon you, you will not contain him. You will not contain him. You will not contain him. You will begin to preach in your lecture rooms. You will be in a taxi and the spirit of God comes upon you and you start preaching. And that is Jeremiah 20, verse 9. I love this. Jeremiah wanted to keep quiet, but the spirit of God could not allow him to be quiet. Let's read this one together. One, two, one, two. But if I say, I will not mention his word or speak anymore in his name, his word is in my heart like a fire, a fire shut up in my bones. I am wary of holding it in. Indeed, I cannot. Oh my God, there is nothing on this earth that can contain the God of thunder. Oh, tonight you are going to become sons of thunder. You are going to become loud, loud, loud. Your faith must be loud. A faith that is not loud does not attract. Pastor Kiliba said to us, you do not chase Satan with a soft voice. You need to be loud. JTL tonight, come out of the graves. You need to be loud. You need to be loud. God is giving you tonight his nature. He is a loud God. 
He is allowed to receive a new voice, a voice of thunder, a voice of thunder, a voice of thunder. And we are closing with Revelations 8, verse 3 to 5. Hallelujah. Another angel who had a golden censer came and stood at the altar. He was given much incense to offer with the prayers of all God's people on the golden altar in front of the throne. Four to five. The smoke of the incense together with the prayers of God's people went up before God from the angel's hand. Then the angel took the censer, filled, filled it with fire from the altar, and they held it on earth. And there came bells of thunder, not only thunder, oh my God, uh, yes, uh, we are speaking uh, about a God uh, of thunder, but it's not only uh, thunder, the Bible says uh, came bells of thunder, rumblings, uh, flashes uh, of lightning, uh, and an earthquake, uh, and tonight uh, we declare a shaking uh, on earth, uh, where there was a doubt, uh, we declare uh, a shaking, uh, where there was a death, uh, we declare uh, a shaking, uh, where there was a dryness, uh, we declare uh, a shaking uh, behind uh, the thunder, it is uh, the clouds, uh, behind uh, the clouds, uh, it is is, uh, the rain, the rain, the rain, the God of thunder, he is a judgment to Satan, but for you, he is a blessing, he is a blessing, he is a blessing, when God thunders, there will be rains, we declare rains over your life, no more dryness, we declare rains over South Africa, no more dryness, we declare rains uh, over your finances. Uh, no more dryness, uh, we declare rains uh, in your families. Uh, no more dryness. Amen, amen. Amen, amen. I have delivered the message. I have delivered the message. Amen. And I want us to make one prayer. And I want us to pray. As we are praying, let me give you a testimony. I came to JTL 2014 and almost most of my family members, they were worldly. They would go to parties, you know. They were not saved. Amen? But I did not have a faith that was dead. No. For nine years, for some more than ten years, others began to come to JTL last year and others are saved, others are baptized. Why? The God of thunder is not silent. He's not silent. He's not silent. He's not silent. And the prayer I want us to make is a prayer of salvation for South Africa. Some of you do not believe, but God is able to change those hearts that are hard. He knows how to do it. Yours is to continue to speak about him. Yours is to continue to testify about him. You cannot say you want to see your family saved, but you are quiet. No, my beloved. You cannot say you want to see South Africa saved, but you are quiet. No, no, no. Some of you, you are here. Do you want your family to be saved? Do you want that Malume to be saved? Do you want that father to be saved? Do you want our government to be saved? You need to speak about Jesus. And we are making a prayer of salvation. Pray for that Malume. Pray for that grandmother. Pray for that mother. Say, Lord, save. Amen. Let us rise on our feet and make that prayer in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Father, oh Lord, the Bible says your hand is not short to not save. Your hand is not short to not save. Your hand is not short to not save. Your there is no heart that is hard for you, Lord. There is no person that is hard for you, Lord. Today, we are praying, we are praying, oh my God. We are praying, we are praying for our families that 
are not saved. We are praying for our families that are not saved. Lord Jesus, may you save. 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 We are praying. We are praying. We are praying. We are praying for all our family members that are not saved. Those are Lord who are in the world. Those are Lord who do not believe. Today, Lord, touch them. 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 May you save. 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 Oh Lord, may you save. May you save. Pray again. 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 Pray for that man. Pray for that man. Pray. Lord save. 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 Oh today. Oh today. Oh today. Oh today. Lord save. Lord save. Our families, Lord save South Africa, Lord save, Lord save, Lord save. Worship the Lord, worship the Lord, worship the Lord, worship the Lord, worship the Lord. Yes, Jesus, yes, Jesus. As we worship you, God, we adore you, you are God. There is nobody else but you. We are in your presence. We are in your presence. Today is the day where you learn to sit in the presence of God. Don't be anxious. All that God needs from you is your availability. It's a day to sit and to receive. Your sitting is your faith. God is teaching you to sit. As we welcome the second preacher, we're going to make a prayer. Bible says, how can they call unto one that they don't believe? How shall they believe unless there's a preacher? How shall there be a preacher unless he's sent? Romans 10. And today, we don't just want to pray for salvation. We want God to open your mouth. We want God to open your mouth. Come on, don't be distracted. You have heard too many sermons. Don't, don't be distracted. You have heard too many sermons to be quiet. Hallelujah, choir. We have received too much to be quiet. We know too much to be quiet. Has not stand up. Let's stand up. The mothers can sit. Mothers can sit. Mothers can sit. Young people, don't sit down. Don't sit down in church. Don't be distracted. So we're going to make that prayer. There are things that silence you. You speak in church, but there's a place you can't speak because there are things that silence you. Let's read Acts chapter 4. Eventually, I'm going to come forward. Verse 18. And we're going to pray. And we're going to pray. And we're going to pray. And you're going to speak. 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 The Lord shall anoint your head in the presence of your enemies. Hallelujah. The Bible says, then they caught them in again. Do you understand that? It wasn't the first time. Some of you tried to speak, but you were stopped. But like Moses today, God will send you again. But this time he's sending you with a burning bush. This time he's sending you with a burning bush. I thought you knew what I'm saying. He's sending you with a burning bush. He's sending you with an army. He's sending you with an army. They don't retreat. They don't go backwards. Until they have finished the work. He again commanded them not to speak or teach at all. In the name of Jesus. Verse 29. We're going to read it together and we are going to pray. 
29 verse, quickly. We're going to make that prayer together. We're going to read it together in faith. Because I know that there are things, some of you, even in church, there are things that silence you. That say, you keep quiet. Today there's only one king over this. There's only one king over this service. There is only one king over this service, my sister. Today is the day when you rebel. Today is the day when you rise up against every master that says you shall not speak, that said you shall not preach. You will not turn me away from my calling. I am a preacher. Somebody shout, I am a preacher. Tell your neighbor you are a preacher. Tell the other neighbor you are a preacher. Tell the one behind you are a preacher. I tell them like a prayer. Tell them you are a preacher. Tell them there's a Holy Ghost upon you. Tell them there's anointing upon you. It's not going to be wasted. There's a spirit upon you. It's not going to be wasted. There is power upon you. It's not going to be wasted. It's not only for love more. It's also for you. Somebody shout it's for me. Somebody shout it's for me. One, two, three. Let's read. One, two, three. Now, Lord. Come on, church. Yeah. Great boldness. You are speaking in the name of the Lord. You are not speaking in the name of your degree. You are not speaking in the name of your talent. You are speaking in the name of the Lord. Somebody say Lord. Somebody say Lord. Thirty. One, two, three. Let's read. Thirty. Quickly. Stretch out your hand to heal. Perform signs and wonders through the name of your holy servant, Jesus. 31. Holy servant. One, two, three. Ah. Aha. Thunder entered. Yeah. Aha. The word of God with boldness. Somebody shout in the name of Jesus, fire. Shout in the name of Jesus. Lord today, Lord, today. See, see their threats, their threats. Thunder, thunder by your voice. By your voice. Shake, them. Shake, them. Shake them. Shake them. Make them to tremble. Them to tremble. They, must they must leave me. They must leave me. Must leave Every, me. Master Every master that was holding, that was holding my, mouth my mouth must leave me must leave by thunder. Me. Put your hands up. Pray, 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 pray. pray. Now go pray. pray. Jesus Christ, our saving our heart, our saving our Lord. Every master, every master, to take God, to take God, to take Lord. Every master, must let go, 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 Every yes, master, Lord. In the name of Jesus. Yes, Lord. In the name of Jesus. Yes, Lord. In the name of Jesus. Pray, Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Pray, pray, pray. 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 Pray, pray, Oh my shake God. them. Oh my God. Shake oh them. God. Yes, shake. shake them. Today, I will shake God. them. And the Lord, shake every master. Every master. Shake them. Every master. Every shake master. them. Every master. Shake them. Every master. Every master. Shake them. Every master. Every master. Shake them. Tonight. Tonight. Shake them. Tonight. Our Lord, shake them. Our God. Our God. Shake them. Let go. Let go. Shake them. Let go. Let go. In the name of Jesus. 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 In Jesus' name. Amen. Celebrate the Lord if you believe that today there's a preacher. Celebrate the Lord at the back. If you believe there's a preacher that has been. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Somebody shout hallelujah. Somebody shout hallelujah. hallelujah. Give me J. Hey. Give me e. e. Give me S. Yes. Give me you. you. Another S. Yes. Can I hear the loudest shout of the... Come on. 
Come on! Come on! Come on! Come on! Come on! Yay! I will not be sad. Church. I will all church. As Lord, I worship. Rest of it, Serenai. Worship. Go, go. As long as I'm breathing. Come on, church. Say. Say. I will always give my throat. Come on. Come on. Jesus. Lord, help us to complete our task of this day. Lord, you know what needs to be completed today. And we pray that, Lord, take us there in the name of Jesus. May the wisdom, may man disappear. But may you, the God of our Father, appear. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Amen. You may take your seats. Hallelujah. Amen and amen. I'd like to honor my, uh, my father, Pastor Veneza. Amen. Evana. Amen, church. Why are you jealous? Amen. There can only be one father. Amen. Yes, amen. Hallelujah and hallelujah. You know, I don't say this just because I want to be given to speak every now and again. Amen. 
Hallelujah. But it is because of what I see from afar, what the Father does. Amen. It's not easy. Hallelujah. You come here, everything is beautiful, everything is nice. You're like, it's easy. Amen. Sometimes even on Sunday, amen. But you do not know the things that he's been solving from the night throughout the morning. Amen. He comes in the service and he has love more, frustrating him with sound. Amen. And the, hallelujah. Amen. And he still has to push him, push you. And then he has to deliver the message to you. Amen. It's not easy. Hallelujah. Be grateful for your leaders. Hallelujah. I honor you, sir. Amen. And welcome to our guests. Hallelujah. And thank you to Shepherd Salvation. Amen. Clap your hands for, for the shepherd. Hallelujah. And we're going to continue in the same line. I also won't be long. I'll be short. Pray that I meet my goal. Amen. And when we read in 1 Samuel chapter 7, when you start from the top, you see that Israel was in defeat. It is because they had turned away from God. When you are reading there, you know, Samuel says, So Samuel said to all the Israelites, seven, chapter 7, verses 3. So Samuel said to all the Israelites, If you are returning to the Lord with all your hearts, then rid yourselves of the foreign gods. And the, that wait, amen. And commit yourselves to the Lord and serve him only. And he will deliver you out of the hand of the Philistine. Amen. When something is in your hand, it means you have control over that. Amen. So the Philistines, they were controlling Israel. Hallelujah. It is because they had went astray. Amen. They had turned to foreign gods. Hallelujah. But someone says, if you return. If you get read, hallelujah. Today I want you to return. Hey, amen. Hallelujah. And your prayer will be effective. Hallelujah. Amen and amen. If you return, hallelujah. And hallelujah. Sometimes people are living in defeat because their trust is in their other gods. Amen. Today, I want you to throw away uh, the foreign gods. Hallelujah and hallelujah. I don't care what your grandmother said. I don't care what your grandfather said. Amen. Today, throw it away. Amen and amen. If you are here and you know that you have uh, what you call strings uh, in your hands, uh, on your waist, uh, today, Hey, go to the pastor and let it be cut off and throw away. Amen and amen. Amen and amen. Get rid of the foreign gods. Hallelujah and hallelujah. I shall not serve no foreign god, nor any other treasure. Amen and amen. We will not mix our God or the God of our Father with a foreign God. Amen and amen. I will not reduce the God of my Father and compare him to your God. Ay, 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 ay. Amen and amen. Hallelujah and hallelujah. Hallelujah and hallelujah. The Lord wants to thunder. Amen. But we need to come back. Hallelujah and hallelujah. We need to throw away. Amen and amen. I don't know what you are believing in. Oh, hallelujah. Today, it is the day to change. Amen. It is the day to change. Hallelujah. We challenge those foreign gods. They will do you nothing. Hallelujah. Today, if you choose to throw them away, they won't do you anything. We challenge them by the God of our Father. Oh, hallelujah. 
and hallelujah and hallelujah if they think they are mighty let them try tonight hallelujah and hallelujah the God who has been closing your doors we challenge them tonight ah! hey, 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 hey. amen and amen amen and amen amen and amen the cats that have put you in the box we challenge them hallelujah and hallelujah and hallelujah we are not here to play amen and amen amen and amen we will kill them hallelujah and hallelujah and hallelujah and hallelujah we will kill them tonight in the name of jesus honor jesus honor jesus honor jesus ay 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 amen and amen today you are going home free amen amen denounce that god denounce witchcraft denounce them tonight in the name of jesus in the name of jesus amen and amen amen and amen hallelujah when you go on verses 20 sorry not verses 20 Ah, verses 13. Amen. 7 verses 13. The Bible says, "So the Philistines were subdued, and they stopped invading Israel's territory." Amen. Throughout Samuel's lifetime. Hallelujah. The hand of the Lord was against the Philistine. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. And hallelujah and hallelujah and hallelujah maybe in your family you've lived in defeat amen but because of you amen we introduce you to permanent victory oh my god through the lifetime of Samuel the Philistines they could not come against Israel Oh my god may your existence put a stop to every enemy in your family oh my god amen and amen amen and amen i like the god of our father he's a god who begins new generation new generation new generation new generation new generation maybe before you were your grandfathers they were in defeat but because of me a new generation is beginning is beginning and i say to you a new generation is beginning through you if today you can choose jesus amen and amen amen and amen he said if you retain with all your heart Hallelujah and hallelujah and hallelujah we I want you to be awakened amen we are not playing church amen and amen don't come to church to waste your time amen you've come to church to get something hallelujah and hallelujah and hallelujah amen and amen amen and amen amen and amen lord I'm here to get something. Amen. God wants to give you uh, the tools uh, that you need uh, in order to go uh, and deal. Uh, amen. Uh, with the things uh, that you left uh, at home. Hallelujah. And hallelujah. And hallelujah. And hallelujah. He wants to give you the tools. Amen and amen. Ay 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 ay. Go with me uh, to Revelations chapter 16 verses 20 the bible says the seventh angel poured out his bowl into the air and out of the temple came a loud voice from the throne saying it is done then 18 then there came flashes of lightning rumblings hells of thunder and a severe earthquake no earthquake like it has ever occurred since mankind has been on the earth so tremendous was the quake 19 the great city split into three pieces and the cities of the nations collapsed god remembered 
Babylon the Great and gave her the cup filled with the wine of the fury of his wrath. 20. Every island fled away and the mountains could not be found. Amen and amen. If you read the entire chapter, it speaks about angels who are carrying bows. Amen and amen. And the bow, it is the judgment of God. Amen. That is released by the prayer of the saints. Amen and amen. Amen and amen. Amen and amen. Hallelujah and hallelujah. There were seven bowels. Hallelujah. Amen and amen. Seven strategies. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. But today we are speaking about one strategy. The thunder. Hallelujah and hallelujah and hallelujah. It was the seventh angel released through the bowel. And there was the judgment that was released. There was thunder. Amen and amen. And the Bible tells us uh, the city split. Amen and amen. The island fled. God help us. Hallelujah and hallelujah and hallelujah. Today the Holy Spirit is choosing the strategy of the thunder. Oh my God. Hallelujah and hallelujah and hallelujah and hallelujah. There are times he uses lightning. Amen and amen. Hallelujah and hallelujah. At the tomb of Jesus what happens? There was a light that came and it blinded the two gods who were standing outside who were looking after the tomb. Amen. So light is a strategy or is a weapon. But the thunder, like shepherd told us, it is a sound. Hallelujah and hallelujah. If you've been outside when, you go, when the rain is about to come and you see there's a lightning, you become afraid a bit. Amen. But when the sound comes, Back. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. When the sound comes uh, thereafter, there is great terror in the inner being. Amen and amen. Hallelujah and hallelujah. Hallelujah and hallelujah. The sound, uh, the thunder, it is one of the weapons uh, that God uh, uses uh, in order to make uh, the enemy uh, to surrender. Hallelujah and hallelujah. And hallelujah. Ha, yeah, 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 yeah. But we see the thunder is released by prayer. Amen and amen. By prayer. But before you can make the prayer, you must get rid of things. Amen. The Bible says the prayer of the righteous. Amen. Is powerful and effective. Amen and amen. Today we will make or we are making powerful and effective prayers. Hallelujah and hallelujah. God is good. 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 Hallelujah and hallelujah. Samuel made a prayer and there was thunder. Many children of God they don't pray or they cannot pray because they are not awakened to where they are. Amen and amen. If only you knew the truth, you will pray harder. Amen and amen. If only you knew that the destiny of your family depends Depends on you. You will pray harder. Amen and amen. It is because you are not awakened. Amen. The enemy is seated. He's playing around you. Amen. And God has given you this opportunity. Prayer service. So that you can pray. And evacuate Satan. But you are distracted. Amen and amen. May God awaken you today. Amen. There's much more about your existence. There's much more about the existence of your family. There is much more. Hallelujah. But you need an awakening. 
Hallelujah and hallelujah. It is those that are awakened that we will see pray. Amen and amen. When people are not awakened, they don't pray. Amen and amen. Hallelujah and hallelujah. The question that I have for you, are you happy where you are? Amen. Are you happy the way things are? Amen and amen. If you are not happy, it is time to do something about it. Amen. It is time to take prayer seriously. Amen. It is time to take prayer seriously. Hallelujah and hallelujah. May God awaken you. May God awaken you. May God awaken you by the word of the truth. Amen and amen. The day when I came to JTL and I was sat down to listen to the word. And from the word, I discovered that there is much more about this young man. Hallelujah and hallelujah. And I took prayer seriously because I want to see. Amen and amen. I want to see the much more that God has. Amen and amen. Hallelujah and hallelujah. May God awaken you. Amen. You are not just, you are not just the person that we see with our physical eyes. There is much more, but you need an awakening. May God awaken you so that you can fight. Amen and amen. Many believers, they love declarations, but they are not ready to fight for the declarations. Amen and amen. Hallelujah and hallelujah. That is why some people, they will go to the grave with the declarations. Amen and amen. And they've never seen their fulfillment. Hallelujah and hallelujah. Jesus had a greater calling upon his life. But he needed to go and evacuate Satan. Amen and amen. In the desert. Hallelujah and hallelujah. My brother, my sister, maybe when I your desire, it is just to get a degree. Okay, amen. We are not against that. Hallelujah. But what's the point of having a degree but in prison? Amen and amen. Amen and amen. Hallelujah and hallelujah. Today, desire to come out of the prison. Amen. There is much more. Hallelujah and hallelujah. It is the prayer. Amen. It is those who believe in their prayer that will release the thunder. Amen and amen. I don't have to feel it. I just have to believe. Amen. I don't think Jesus was in a place where he was feeling good when he says, Lord, glorify your name. Amen and amen. But he still prayed. Hallelujah and hallelujah. You may not be feeling like it, but just pray. Amen and amen. Your prayer does much more. And when Jesus prayed, there was thunder. Hallelujah and hallelujah and hallelujah. Lord, free me from a Christianity of feelings. Hallelujah and hallelujah. Hallelujah and hallelujah. Oh my God. Oh my God. In Revelation 16 verses 20, you hear it says, Every island fled and every mountain could not be found. Hallelujah and hallelujah. Today, we're going to shake every desert in your ministry. We're going to shake every desert in your calling. We're going to shake every desert in your life. Oh my God, you are dry. But today, the thunder will shake. The desert will disappear. Fill me up. Hallelujah. The desert will disappear. The mountain, the stubborn demons will disappear because of the thunder. Oh my God, today, they will disappear. Oh, hallelujah. And hallelujah, and hallelujah, and hallelujah. The thunder will shake every barrenness, every barrenness. You are barren, you work, but you don't see any fruits. You will see the fruits, you will enjoy your fruits because tonight the thunder is shaking, the desert is running away. Ah! Woo! Oh! 
the desert is running away. The mountains, I flee, I flee, I flee, I flee, I flee. Oh my God, oh my Lord, from today, try again. From today, go try again. From today, try again, try again. What was difficult will be easy. Hey, rise up on your feet and praise God. Rise up on your feet and praise God. Start praying, pray, 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 pray. Say in the name of Jesus. Say in the name of Jesus. Lord, I believe. Lord, I believe. The prayer of the righteous availeth much today. I believe in my prayer. I heard your word. It has changed me. It has sanctified me from other gods. Today, today, my prayer is shaking every desert in my life, every desert in my family, in the name of Jesus. I want you to pray by your own voice, by your own hands. The prayer, if you don't feel it, or you feel it, I want you to pray. I want you to pray. I want you to pray. Elijah was a man like you and me. Elijah was a man like you and me. Pray, 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 pray. Pray, 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 pray. You don't have to feel it. Believe 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 it. Every desert. Every desert. Every desert. Every dryness. 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 In my calling. Every dryness. In my heart. Every dryness. Lord. 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 Pray, 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 pray. Pray, 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 pray. Pray, 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 pray. The Lord is in prayer. 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 Shake the desert. Shake the desert. Shake the desert. In your neighbor. Your neighbor can pray. Shake the desert. 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 Shout thunder. 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 Put your hands and pray. Pray, 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 pray. Shake the desert in your neighbor. Your neighbor is dry. Your neighbor is dry. Your neighbor is dry. Today. 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 As we pray. As we pray. We pray in the name of Jesus, 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 Amen. Amen. God is in the room. When you pray, put everything in there. The Bible says Elijah put his hand between his legs. May God give you back focus in prayer in the name of Jesus. May God give you back focus in prayer in the name of Jesus. The God of thunder is at the altar. That's a word for somebody. The God of thunder is not in paper commitment. Is at the altar. Not paper commitment. May you begin to prepare your commitment for tomorrow, for Sunday, for Monday, for after Monday. Lord, I will not leave your altar. Lord, I will stay at the altar. Lord, I will, be, come on. Now. Lord, I will build an altar. Somebody else built an altar. Somebody else built an altar. Somebody else built an altar. Do you understand that? Do you understand that? For there to be another hand in your family is because somebody else built an altar to another God. But today, we shall serve uh, no foreign God. Uh, every other altar is a broken uh, in the name of Jesus. We curse every other altar. We curse every other altar. We curse every other altar. We, come on, church, yeah. We curse every other altar that was built uh, in your life. Uh, say amen. Say amen. Say amen. Say, amen. Amen. say Lord. Lord.
Elijah, Elijah was, a man was a man of the same nature, the same nature as, us. as us. Believers. Believers. He prayed. He prayed. And the heavens, and the heavens opened. opened. Lord, Lord tonight, tonight, as a church, as a church with, one voice, with one voice, one faith, one, faith, one, faith, one, resolution, one resolution, we pray. Of our families. Over our families. Let it rain. Let it rain. It's been dry for so long. Let it rain. Let it rain. Let it rain. There are mothers who are trying so hard to make things happen. Let it rain. Oh, hallelujah. Let it rain. There are fathers who are trying so hard to make things happen. Let it rain. Let it rain. Let it rain. Come on. Come on, Jackson. Let it rain. I want you to feel the pain of your family. I want you to feel the pain of your family. I want you to feel the pain. Feel the pain of this nation. Feel this. Feel the pain of this nation. Feel the pain of this nation. Feel the pain of your community. Shall let it rain. Shall not let it rain. We cry for the rain. We cry. You can put your hands if you can. I want you to pray with everything in you. Pray. Think on pray. Think on pray. Shepherd pray. Intercessors pray. Leaders pray. Trust you pray. Oh, pray. Pray with everything. Everything in you. Everything in you. Let it rain. 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 Oh, Lord. Africa, send the man. Hey, send the man. 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 Remember your siblings. Send on, send the man. Remember your family. Send on, send the man. Remember South Africa. Send on, send the man. Send on, send the man. Send on, send the man. Send on, send the man.
Jesus. God, Jesus. God, Jesus. Yes, Lord, yes, Lord. Send the rain on us. Send the rain on us. Hey. Hey. Send the rain on us. 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 to give up. Send the rain on us. Refresh us, oh God. Refresh us, refresh us. Send the rain. Send the rain, send the rain on us. Yes, Lord, yes, Lord. Yes, Lord, yes, Lord. Tired, tired intercessors. Send the rain on us. Jesus. Yeah. Send the rain. Send. Come on, quiet, Jesus. Jesus. Send the rain. send your rain, we, we're going to run again. Elijah will run again. That's a word for somebody. Elijah will run again. Heal the legs of the preachers. Heal the legs of the preachers. We bless your legs in the We bless your legs in the name of Jesus. You run for the gospel again. Say amen. You run for the gospel again. You run for the gospel again. Open, open, open the over this church in abundance and cause your rain to fall on me. Come on, every voice. Send your rain, Baba, oh, 
15 minutes and I'll be done. Isn't it wonderful in this place? Isn't it wonderful? It is wonderful. It is wonderful. From the beginning to the preachers, to the worship, to the prayers, it is wonderful in this evening. Amen. Are you not blessed to be here? Are you not blessed to be here? Amen. Amen. Thank you so much. I wanted to say thank you to you. I don't know why. And God was saying to me as I was seated there that you are no more playing by experience. There's something he has given you now. You are now praying with anointing. Don't lose what God has given you. Maybe you have not realized, but you are not playing by experience. You are not playing because you know how to play. There's something that God has added on you. You are not going to play like you play always. When you play, there will be a move of angels. It's if only you can take this seriously. If only you can commit to this God who has called you to play. He had called David and when David was playing, there was demons that were living. I am speaking over your life. If you can commit to God, you will be playing and the Spirit of God will move in the place and the demons will scatter. If only you could commit to the God that has called you, something would change about your identity. Hallelujah. God bless you. I'm not going to be very long. It is wonderful today. Thank you so much, Pastor, for the opportunity to share the word. Thank you to our visitors. It's such a blessing to have you here. Thank you so much. It gladdens our heart to see you. Thank you for joining. Thank you for you, the people of God, the assembly of God, for not getting tired to come all the time in the presence of the Lord to raise your hand and make intercession for those who can pray, for those who can stand for themselves. May God bless you. Thank you so much to Shepard, uh, Cindy Seaway, to, uh, for, for the blessing you are to the body of Christ. Thank you, G. Thank you so much to Evangelist Lovemo for the grace that you have that is a blessing to us. 
like it's like powerful. It's very fireful. It's very alive. It's reviving. And that's grace that we embrace in the assembly of God because it's doing us good. So I am saying to you, you are a blessing to the church that we are. God bless you. Thank you very much for the opportunity to share the word. I have a short time. They have preached most of the things, but I want to preach something very short to accompany what they have said. And my sub-theme is the day of the Lord. My sub-theme is the day of the Lord. There are days on the earth. There are days on the earth. But there is a day that is called the day of the Lord. The days on the earth can be challenging. There are days on the earth that can be sorrowful. There are days on the earth that can be difficult. There are days on the earth that can be out of order. But there is a day called the day of the Lord. The day of the Lord brings everything to order. The day of the Lord brings everything to order. As God has intended it to be. There are things that the devil does in the lives of people in the church, in the nation. And these are the days that we can experience. But there is a time where it is called the day of the Lord. Where it brings everything back to order. Because the God that we serve is not a God that is insensitive to what is happening on the earth. That's why our theme is change. He said, he said what? Change all things by the God of thunder and in, in, in word and prayer. I'm going to speak to you quickly about this day of the Lord. What is this day of the Lord? And I will end by praise because this is a time of praise. Do not mourn. Do not cry. Do not cry out of sorrow. Do not cry out of, of worries. You need to cry out of celebration, out of, out of faith, out of, out of believing in a God that is doing amazing things for us. That a God that is remembering us. A God that is changing our story. A God that is remembering the people of God. Oh, there's a time for everything under the sun. And this is the day of the Lord. Joel 2.11. After that we read Joel 3.16. Let's start with Joel 2.11. I'll be very quick. Because I've preached most of the things I wanted to say. So I'm just going to emphasize only this. It said, the Lord thunders. I love that you know that I love NIV. God bless you. God, pray, praise God for you. <laughs> Thank you so much. Can we read together? It said, the Lord Thunders at the head of his army. His forces are beyond number. Before you go far, his forces, meaning the armies of the Lord, meaning what God is working with, he says it's beyond number. And mighty is the army that obeys his command. The day of the Lord is great. It is dreadful. Who can endure it? Who can endure it? Joel 3.16 There is something that God is doing in this day. I'm going to explain to you what's the meaning of the day of the Lord. And you'll understand that this is just a system of God works to change situation, to change things that we were living. That's the changing of things. It happens when there is a day called the day of the Lord. 16, the, can I read the rock together? The rock from Zion and thunder from Jerusalem. The earth and the heavens will tremble, but the Lord will be a refuge for his people and stronghold for the people of Israel. The thunder of the Lord is a good news to the camp of those who believe in him. It can be a time of shaking in the camp of those who are the enemies of God. But for us, it's a time of celebration. It's a time of praise because we know that now we are being, we have, we, God, God will judge those who were oppressing us. Can we now read Revelation 18, 8? You understand that God works just in a day. And you understand what is this day? What is she talking about? Revelation 18, 8. 
There is a wickedness that has been working for a long time. There is an oppression that has been working for a long time. Listen to this. Therefore, in one day, this is Babylon that the man of God was preaching to us here. That is doing one, two, three. But now the Bible says here, therefore in one day, her plagues will overtake her. Death, mourning and famine, she will be consumed by fire. For mighty is the Lord God who judges her. In one day, God can change the story of a nation. In one day, God can change a story of a nation. In one day, God can change a story of a nation. I don't know how much the enemy has been working in this nation, but there is a day called the day of the Lord where whatsoever he was doing, no matter the number, no matter the intensity, no matter the impact, it can be brought to zero just in a day that is called the day of the Lord. The day of the Lord is a spiritual reality where the Lord takes a decision. There is a time where the Lord takes a decision. There is a time where the Lord cannot accept to hear Christ getting to him and nothing is happening. The Bible says, God said to Moses, I have heard the cry of my people. Therefore, I have taken a decision to count down. There is a time called the time that I said is the day of the Lord. When the Lord takes a decision, then I have heard the cries of my people. But now I have decided I am coming down. I am coming down. The thunder of the Lord is the presence of God in the assembly of the saints. Yes, it is his presence. Amen. 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 Yes. You, you think it's just, it's just a, a noise. No, it is his presence. Who can stand? Who can stand? Who can stand in front of our God? No one. They cannot. They cannot. They cannot. So I am saying to you, we are in a season called the day of the Lord. Where all things will change. In a twinkle of an eye. In a twinkle of an eye. All things will change. The man of God and the shepherd has told you about crying out to the Lord. And I came to say to you, we are not just crying out to the Lord. But we are making cries of faith. You know, the Bible says... In Nehemiah 8 verse 10, I want us to read. The complaint that she's talking about, it's an only before God. That's why it doesn't produce anything. We are not crying complaining. We are not crying out of unbelief. We are crying to the God that can deliver us. We are crying to a God that can change all things. The Bible says, Nehemiah said, go and enjoy choice food and sweet Drinks and send and send some to those who have nothing prepared. Can we read? Complaint is unholy. Unbelief is unholy. It has no place in the presence of God. That's why the cry we are making is not the, 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 the cry of, of, of distress to say we have no hope. No, we are crying because we say we have a God in heaven. We have our Father in heaven. We are not alone in this situation. Oh my God, in after four, it was difficult for them. They were shaken. They said, Lord, look at their threat. But they said, we will not keep quiet. There is a solution that is above. Let us raise our voice to the one who is called our God. He is Yeshua Hamashiach. The Lord is the man of war. The Lord cannot be complained. The Lord cannot be complained. 
He is the beginning and the end. They call him Alpha and Omega. They call him Alpha and Omega. When he starts, he will complete. Jesus. Ish. Hey. Hey. He will complete. Jesus. Listen. Listen. We are in a good time. Don't be shaken. It will shake all things. Listen, we are not afraid. We are not afraid. If God be for us, if God be for us, we are not going to fail. We are not going to fail. I don't know what Satan about say Satan has said about your life. I don't know what Satan said about this nation. I don't know what Satan said about JTL. I don't know. But I came to inform him. We are not going to fail. Because the time of the Lord, God Almighty, has come. He will shop. He will shop. He will shop. He will shop. Mighty. Mighty. Mighty are the works of his hands. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I don't want to continue, it's not important. But I want us to read this together. Jetia, Zephaniah 3 14 to 20. We are going to live a life of praise. We praise, he fights for us. We praise him, he wins our battle. We praise him, he wipes our tears. We praise him, he wipes our tears. We are not going to cry forever. Who said to you that you are going to cry forever? Who said to you that you are going to remain in that situation forever? I came to say to you, there is something called the day of the Lord. And it's upon us. It's upon us. All things will change. Hallelujah. Do you believe, Jesus? Do you believe, body of Christ? All things will change. And God wants to see that faith in us. He's going to do the rest. Don't be shaken anymore. No. We are going to believe in the God we serve. And we are going to say it on the face of the evil one. We we'll believe in Jesus. And there's nothing you can do about it. But let me inform you that a time is coming where you will mourn. Where you will mourn. The enemy will be mourning. You read it in Revelation 18. She will mourn. That prostitute that has been troubling the prophet. She's the one who's killing the prophet. But the time has come where the prophet will resurrect from the place where they were killed, where they were humiliated, where they were put to shame. And the enemy who had buried them will replace them in those graves which come out. But he's going to remain in there until the end. Can we read this? And now we're going to be done. Zephaniah 13 to 20. 14 to 20. Can we read together? Shout aloud, Israel. Be glad and rejoice with all your heart. Daughter Jerusalem. The Lord has taken away your punishment. He has turned back your enemy. The Lord, the King of Israel, is with you. Never again you fear any harm. I told you don't fear anything. On that day, called the day of the Lord, they will say to Jerusalem, Do not fear, Zion. Do not let your hand clamp. The Lord your God is with you. The mighty warrior who saved. He will take great delight in you. His, his love, he will no longer rebuke you. But will rejoice over you with singing. Hallelujah. I will remove from you all who mourn. 
over the loss of your appointed faith. Do not mourn anymore. Do not mourn anymore. Which is a burden and reproach for you. 19. At that time, I will deal. Did, did, that, did I write it there? Did I write it there? God himself is speaking to us. At that time, I will deal with all who oppress you. I will rescue all the land. I will gather the exit. I will give them praise and honor in every land where they have suffered shame. I told you. I told you your story is changing. It's changing. It's changing. Because it's saying, wherever you had suffered shame, it's not going to take you out to bring you somewhere else. No, no, no. In that same place where they laughed at you, where they ridicule you, in that same place, the Lord will glorify himself in your life. The Lord will glorify himself. At that time, I will gather you. At that time, I will bring you home. I will give you honor and praise among all the peoples of the earth. When I restore your fortunes before your very eyes, says the Lord. Says the Lord! Says the Lord! Come on, celebrate, celebrate God, celebrate God. Celebrate God, come on, come on. Show Jesus. Show Jesus. receive the day. We enter the day. We sit in the day. It is the grace of God. A new season. Over your people. Over the church. Over the nation. Over the nations. In Jesus name. Amen. Can you celebrate God? Just receive it. Just receive it. Just receive it, receive it. Just receive it. Receive it for your family. Receive it for your family. Receive it for your nation. Receive it for your company. It's a new day. It's a new day. It's a new day. Somebody shout, yes. Bring five people, tell them it's a new day. It's a new day. Rejoice and be glad. It's a new day. 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 God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. If you greeted someone, you can be seated in God's presence. God bless you. Thank you. It's a new day. Rest. Don't add anything. Rest. The choir is looking at me. <laughs> and they say, <laughs> Like, hey, Pastor was about to take us in another praise. Hey. It's a new day, rest. But before we give our offerings, the first time I met Minister Samira, I loved the sound of her faith. So before you go home, I want to shortly, the Bible says, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. I want to shortly, she comes all the way from Pakistan. Yeah, yeah. I want her shortly, well, I should just, you can sit for a short while. I want very shortly to share with us some of her testimony, like the entree. And don't give us the main meal, just the entree. So we, 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 are, we, are, we are getting ready to have you again. And after she shares her testimony, I'm going to ask her pastor to be able to bless the church. 
The first time I met her, she was not just testifying to me about what God did in her life, but about a shepherd. There is something about a sheep who knows a shepherd. They have met God. Our God is using shepherds. Without a waste of time, can I call you Minister Samira? Come on, JT, I'll praise God. <laughs> the Lord. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. It is such an honor and privilege to be in the presence of the Most High God. I give all the honor and glory to Father God for this wonderful opportunity. I am so humbled. I'm so thankful to man of God, Pastor Ebenezer Kiluba and the governing body and the church and each one of you sitting here this evening. I don't take it lightly. I don't take it for granted. This is the most precious moment that anyone can wait for to share the good news of the Lord. Amen. And when pastor said shortly, shortly, he just put me into that box and I'm like, no, not shortly, pastor, please. This church is on fire. And why now when I'm here, it's shortly. I'm just joking. Uh, I'm Sumera Azim. And I'm uh, standing here on behalf of Fishers of Men Ecclesia Benoni with my spiritual father, Pastor Elias Masi. Yeah. And my husband, my better half, Azim. Yeah. Without him, it would have not been possible for a woman all the way from Pakistan standing in a place, in a position, uh, um, in a church that's called Jesus to all languages and talking to you and sharing what God has done in my life. Amen. But before I do that, allow me, I have something very special, pastor, that just touched my spirit when I entered this church. Do you guys breathe prayer? Do you eat prayer? Do you drink prayer? What is this church? What do you do? Do you inhale prayer? Do you exhale prayer? There is prayer all over. There is prayer all over this church. And when pastor said, the God of thunder is on the altar, I just want to add to it, the God of thunder is on the altar to alter everything that's not of the Lord. Your altar will alter you. Thank you very much for, for having me. Uh, one verse that was uh, just uh, making me so excited when I was uh, in, in the worship and I was listening to the wonderful word from wonderful ministers and from, uh, from, from man of God. It was from Revelation and I just want to bless this church with this verse and it says Revelation 21 and verse 23 and this is for JTL. JTL, I'm speaking to you with the conviction of the Holy Spirit inside of me. And that's Revelation 21, verse 23. The city does... Okay, I, I'll follow that. The city does not need the sun or the moon to shine on it. For the glory of God gives it light and the Lamb is its lamp. Let's modify it. When I say the city, you say JTL. Amen. JTL does not need the sun or the moon to shine on it for the glory of the God gives it light and the lamb is its lamp. Amen. So there is something in this place. There is something so amazing that you don't need light. You don't need any physical sources or resources because the glory of the Lord is in this place, very much in this place. And I thank God for the wonderful opportunity from man of God. Like he said, shortly, shortly. So it is shortly, shortly. Uh, testimony, when we talk about testimony, we expect that the person standing is converted. I'm not converted. I'm born in a Christian family. I'm not converted, but I am transformed. So today, as I stand here, I speak on the transformation that was through the Holy Spirit into my life. 
this wasn't a conversion. Conversion can be overnight. Conversion can be in a blink of an eye. But my transformation from what I was and what I am is a gradual process. So this transformation makes me possible to stand here and share that how amazing God has been. And this fellowship with Pastor Ebenezer was over a dinner table at my place. And that reminded me of when Jesus sat with the disciples. I think they were not only eating, they were discussing some future plans, some serious future plans. So God is serious about JTL and Fishers of Men Ecclesia. So the transformation in my life was the transformation of my mind. It was transformation of my thoughts. It's a transformation. Hi, Kenneth. Thank you very much. It's because of Kenneth also we are here. So this transformation was a gradual process. And if I give you an example of the apostles or the disciples, their transformation was also gradual. And when they interacted with Jesus for those three and a half years, that's where they found the purpose. It wasn't overnight and it's never overnight. With me, this transformation took many, many years. And I'm here standing before you and sharing what God laid in my heart. I am Sumera. And when I say I am Sumera, I put my surname before my name. And my surname is I am who I am. I don't go by the surname that's given to me from my family or from the world. I stand here saying that I am Sumera. I walk with this surname. I talk with this surname. And I serve with this surname, the great I am. Born in north of Africa, Libya, in 1977. And as a toddler, I spent my early days in early education in Muscat, Oman, and in Dubai, UAE. Then went back to Pakistan, where I did my schooling from a Catholic convent school. And that God made it possible for me to finish my bachelor's and master's degree uh, in computer sciences and mathematics the first Christian gold medalist in that province. And from there, I started my job as a principal in a, in a school that was based with the British Council. I'm getting there, I'm telling you why, why I'm, I'm giving you so many details. So from there, I started the job in a place where it was a Muslim dominant place. The only young Christian girl being selected as a principal of the 800 uh, girls high school. And then, from Pakistan, we, I got, we got married, Azim and I, uh, an arranged marriage. Like I said, my life is never a conversion. It is always a transformation. Very hard for an educated girl to go for an arranged marriage. But you know what my parents said? They said, it's a gradual process. You will start loving him as you grow with him. So this is again a transformation. My life is full of transformations. You will not see anything that I will speak of something all of a sudden. And from there, I ended up coming to South Africa. And then what? I was a housewife, blessed with three, three children. And I thought, that's it. It's enough. This is my life and I must carry on. But you know what? God is a God of reminding again and again. And he said, this is not a conversion, it's a transformation. You still need to do. So the whole point, coming, being born in North Africa and serving the Lord in South Africa and staying in between in all the countries has given me this understanding that God had me in his mind before I was conceived, before I was in the womb of my mother. He had me on his mind. So brothers and sisters, God have you on on his mind this evening as well. But from there, how I started serving the Lord. It, it was, I still remember it was two, uh, 2013. I was first given the opportunity on the pulpit by my pastor, Pastor Elias Masi, whom I met as a pastor. As a pastor, I would say, not a spiritual father in the start. He was my mentor. And the mentor, when I say mentor, mentor is not, he, he didn't teach me. He formed me, he made me, he shaped me, he molded me, and that's where I was ready like an arrow 
to go and to be shot at the at the at the devil's workshop at the place where the devil is and the satan is working so that's how i met my my mentor pastor ilyas like i always say i am the fruit of his spiritual womb and from there i did my degree in theology and i was all ready to be equipped to work in south africa and from mentor to father that transition i don't know how it happened i don't know how this turned but now from mentoring to fathering he is a father to me he is a father to the church i don't belong to a church that's fatherless i'm coming from a place that i call home and now my 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 service is in mostly in the rehab centers in the shelter homes in the women abuse centers and in all the places where there is no four wall building but we are the church we can go there i minister at sakane fishers of men ecclesia sakane so that that's a short a uh, testimony that how god enables you to bring you from somewhere and to bring you to a place that is not in your plan but that is in his plan so now standing here i just want to encourage you with the last statement and that statement is we are living in the days according to the bible it says the kingdom of god has always suffered violence and the violent take it by force so this should be our attitude this is my attitude this is my aggressive style this is my method of approaching the people and sharing the gospel and keeping my focus on the gospel no matter where i come from amen, amen. and in these last days we should start focusing more on the kingdom mandate and the kingdom mandate is all about my father's business i'm not talking about my physical father my heavenly father business i'm standing here as a business woman of the church and my business is the father's business and his business is the kingdom his business is kingdom our business is not church just want to encourage you there is not much that i have to talk you guys are already on fire already your 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 shepherd has fed you so well so i think if i do more you'll start throwing up so it's better that i just cover up with whatever whatever i have felt in this place so when i say my father's business is kingdom it means to me church is not a business church is not a business my friends the dilemma with the with the people with the christians in this age is that we think that church is a business if church was a business then the then the pastors would be the ceos and the members will be the customers then the evangelism will be marketing and opening new churches and planting new churches will be franchising the worship will be just the performance the holy spirit will only be emotionalism people will not be equipped but entertain but i thank god that i've seen this church not doing any business and if if you relate to what i'm saying I want you to remind of what Jesus said when the son of man comes will he find faith this should be our focus JTL and fishers of men ecclesia when son of man comes will he find faith what are we doing how much we are doing so the focus should be the kingdom mandate and the kingdom mandate occupy occupy we are here to occupy we are in south africa to occupy and if we are the salt of the earth let's not sit in the shakers in the salt shakers you need to come out and we need to modify and change the culture with the gifts that you and i have got so let it be a connection of the gifts i love the name jesus to all languages so when it's like jesus to all languages it means it's a verb it's a doing thing this church has something in common that we can relate and we can come and we can stand there is no barrier of languages in this place so i praise lord for this thing and as far as the kingdom mandate is concerned i just want to encourage you that the net stay with me the net that we are going to throw to catch fish in this generation is not a communal net it's not going to be a net of community we are not going to catch fish that looks like me or looks like you or someone like you and me no the net that we are going to throw is going to be broad 
it's going to be so broad that it can reach and multiply and reach to the nations and all the kingdoms and all the ethnic groups and all the cultures and all the languages this is what i believe is the the message that i want to give to you i'm not preaching but the whole notion is that we are not working and occupying the communities we have to occupy the kingdoms together as one because we are here to occupy the kingdoms for the kingdom of god and with this i i place you and i and i know that it's not the last meeting that we have i praise the lord for 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 people like you those who are still still on the right place still there is alignment in this church and i praise god for the leadership for for this wonderful opportunity so the kingdom mandate is my message to jtl and happy birthday jtl with it's so amazing that i'm standing here and celebrating the 39 years that you guys are and and i pray that when we all be together in the new city in the millennium we will be celebrating like we are celebrating here um, uh, this evening so god bless you all god keep you safe and again i would say the net has to be a bigger net it has to be uh, not for the communities but for the kingdoms of of the lord may god bless you and keep you and shine his face upon you Can you celebrate that fire? Come on, come on. Can you celebrate somebody like you? I'm going to call Pastor Elias. He's going to bless the church. Pastor Elias. And as he comes to bless the church, this is the word that is in my heart. When you see Samira, then you understand that there is no other god that will stand between you and Jesus. She went from a culture of other gods and Islam and everything that is in the east. It's not easy to be Christian there. But she went from there and today she's here in South Africa on fire. For somebody in this place who feels as though ancestral worship is a trap you will never come out from may you take her testimony amen tomorrow may god send you to india come on south africa may god send you to india that you may tell them i used to worship ancestors but today come on jtl i worship jesus come on jtl i worship jesus say neighbor we worship jesus I ready to receive the blessing. Raise your hands in the air and pastor will pray for us. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, we come to you in wonderful mighty name of Jesus Christ in the help of Holy Spirit. And I thank you Father for for this wonderful time for your wonderful people. Father I'm asking your blessing on this church bless this church father abundantly father I'm asking the gifts spiritual gift for this church I'm asking father use this church mightily for your kingdom that your kingdom in this earth that can be all over father bless the church in mighty name of jesus we pray amen come on you are gifted jtl hallelujah come on you are gifted come on i, I feel it for you you are gifted celebrate god because you are gifted oh hallelujah let's worship god say hallelujah
bless you. Give to the Lord. Yes, Pastor Ofari Basket. Yes, you can pass the reading. God bless you so much. You heard from Minister Samira. We are about kingdom business. We are serious. Oh, I love what she said. We are serious. Oh, come on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Pick yeah, on yeah, 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 Come yeah, on. Yeah, yeah. We're not playing here. We're serious. Hey. Say never, I'm serious about it. <laughs> so tomorrow we are going to be stepping into kingdom business. I'm so happy. Hallelujah. We are going to tell Compass Africa the yeah. kingdom of God is here. Repent for the kingdom of God is here. Come on. God bless you. God bless you. So it'll be tomorrow from 6 p.m. It's so amazing, you know, when you have prayed and God begins to answer prayer. There's a day when God begins to answer prayer. I'm a praying person. One day I went to a TV station, reading television with a pastor, a friend of mine, Pastor Abraham. I sat next to him. He's a prophet. And I love what he said. He says, why, why is it that as I'm sitting next to you, I hear people praying? I said, JTL. Come on. Oh, praise God, JTL. The day when God will answer you is here. Come on, the day when God will answer you is here. Let me give you a testimony. The place where we're going tomorrow to share revival. This is what they say to us. They say, Pastor, after you come tomorrow, do you allow us to bring all our people? to your church oh, yes. no, they, they, are, they are asking me pastor can we bring and I say come on come on we have been praying hey. for this we have been praying for this change your can praise God oh, yeah. the day is now the day is now say never the day is now you can be seated amen we pray for it and now we step into it Boldly, without hesitation. So be there tomorrow from 6 p.m. The invitation is to everybody. We wanted to take a few people, but I feel like we just need to take the, the whole church and take it there. It's an invasion. It's a kingdom mandate. Kingdom, you don't send one person. The person is to prepare the people to say, hey, this is John the Baptist. Hey, when I get ready, there's a whole church. There's a whole army. Tomorrow, 6 p.m., we're going to be in that place. There will be prayer. There will be praise. A young man committed suicide. But we are going to tell death, you are not the end. A new story will begin in that race. So tomorrow from 10.30 in this place, we'll be praying again. Now you understand why you should pray. Say, neighbor, now you understand why you should pray. Uh, so wake up for your prayer. Uh -huh. Don't close your phone. Wake up for your prayer. And be here tomorrow, 10.30, as we're going to pray. And in the evening, we'll go there. My heart is very touched. I thank God for the season where I am. My voice is cracked. My spirit is loaded. Yeah. It's a beautiful season. We bless God for it. And as we have given an offering, I just wanted to welcome in order now, Pastor Elias, Minister Sumira, Brother Nazim. Please stand up. JTL, can we welcome them before God? JTL, what do you say to them? We love you and we are serious about it. Come on, show them, show them. Ah. Give them a bonus. Thank you so much. You may be seated in God's presence. Amen. Have you been blessed tonight? Can you praise God for a trio of revival? Come on, come on. Come on. Hug them for me. Hug them for me. Deacon Michelle is doing the, the big man hugging. 
there's an evangelist you are taken care of. When Deacon Michelle is saying that, you know what it means. It's not just words. And Deacon Michelle, if he's on with you, bien. let's make him smile. He knows what to do. <laughs> the evangelist will be praying tomorrow smiling. <laughs> he knows what's happening. It's good to be in God's presence. Are you here for the first time? Can you just wave? Anybody's here for the first time? Can you just wave? If you're here for the first time, you were invited. If you're here, don't be afraid. Don't be shy. Okay, praise God for yourself. Praise God for yourself who came tonight. God bless you. <laughs> Having said that, I remind you, for Sunday, it's a big bus. Amen. <laughs> Invite somebody, three, four, five people. I, I love the move that is in this place. We're going to sit in the presence of Jesus. He would do us good. And we're going to do good to this nation. Say, neighbor, God would do good to you. Learn to smile. Look at them well. Say, learn to smile. smile. How do you say smile in Zulu? Tlega, 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 wena, tlega, tlega. Smile a little bit. Yeah, hallelujah. We are tired of seeing your problems over your face. I want to see Jesus over your face. I want to see some Jesus on your face. God bless you. Can we praise God as we allow our guests to be ushered out? Praise God. We allow our guests to be ushered out. Praise God well. Praise God well. Thank you. Don't you just love her? Don't you just love her? Thank you. Thank you so much. She'll be coming back. Amen. Should she come back? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, she's fire, I tell you. You heard that? She's, she's, she's things. Isn't it? Uh -huh. God bless you. We love JTR. God of our Father, we bless you. Thank you for thundering in this place. And for pouring rain. That is why we are glad. Because seasons have changed. The joy of the Lord is our strength. Come on, JT, I'll say I am. I am who God says I am. I have. I have what God says I have. I can. I can what God says I have. Now bring it home and shout. I am thunder. Come on. I am thunder. I Great.